Hello and welcome to Northeast Media Hub, the fastest growing digital media platform. I am Adalbert Khar with the latest Hub news. Be informed, be alert. Ahead of the upcoming Lok Sabha elections, students of Prague Jyotish College in Guwahati have voiced their expectations and priorities, emphasizing the need for qualified candidates who prioritize developmental issues over party affiliations. Expressing their views to Hub News, the college students highlighted the desire for elected representatives who are committed towards comprehensive development in Assam and addressing the concerns of the youth. Another student emphasized the importance of assessing candidates based on their commitment to development rather than party allegiance, saying that my vote will go to that government which will work for development. This time, I am going to vote for the first time. I will see which government is doing better, which government is right for Assam or for India and is more development-oriented, I will vote for him. will vote for the candidates, not the party, the young voter further added. Congress candidate taking on NPP's Agatha Sangma for the prestigious Tura Lok Sabha seat has warned that public anger against rising food costs and low minimum wages would translate into votes for the opposition Congress and demanded that the ruling NPP-led MDA government in the state prove its commitment towards uplifting the marginalised section of society in the state. Congress candidate Saleng A. Sangma was in the NPP stronghold of Rongjeng in East Karyal's district to garner support for his candidature on Wednesday. A number of Trinamu and BGP members from the region joined the Congress party during the public rally held at Rongjeng Field. The National People's Party NPP on Wednesday strongly condemned the assault incident which led to the death of a labourer and two others injured at Maulai Mauro. It may be mentioned that the house labourer from Nongman Song was assaulted to death by unknown miscreants on Wednesday in Maulai Mauro, Shillong. According to East Coast Hills SP Rituraj Ravi, the incident took place around 11.15am. The victim, identified as Arjun Ray, aged 52, succumbed to injuries at Negrims. Yet again, an oil gas rig operated by Oil India Limited in the Dighal Tarang area under Bagjan village of Tinsukia district spewed out crude oil, gases and condensates uncontrollably for almost three hours on Tuesday night. According to reports by East Mojo, a team of experts from oil immediately responded to the emergency, managing to plug the oil well by closing a valve, thus halting the leak. The incident reignited fears among the people living in the area, remembering the 2020 Bagjan blowout and oil fire that devastated the region. According to locals, the leak happened in the oil rig situated close to the banks of the Dangori River that flows through Dibru Saikhova National Park. National People's Party NPP National General Secretary and Deputy Chief Minister Sniav Halangdhar on Wednesday asked the people of Nartyang constituency to reject the opposition voice of the People Party, VPP and the Congress in the upcoming Lok Sabha elections. Addressing an election campaign held at Namdong, Dhar said it would be meaningless to vote for the BPP because it is a party that will end only in Bernihat. Dhar said the Congress, on the other hand, is like a vehicle that runs without wheels, stating that the NPP is the only party with a valid permit the deputy CM said, Therefore, I urge all 24,000 voters of the constituency to support and vote for the NPP candidate for Shillong parliamentary seat on April 19. Two leading advocates of the Meghalaya High Court have received a threatening letter enclosed with two live rounds of bullets from miscreants demanding that they cease representing certain clients and participating in suits involving those clients. In a press release, the High Court of Meghalaya Bar Association informed that a meeting was held on Wednesday to discuss the unprecedented act of issuing a grave threat to two leading advocates of the city. The Bar Association also condemned this act and assured all advocates that the association shall always be by their side in such trying circumstances. Circumstances. Thank you for listening to Hub Podcast. For latest news and updates, follow us on www.hubnetwork.in. Download Hub News app in your mobile from Google Play Store and Apple App Store. For promotion and publicity, write to us at info at hubnetwork.in. Thank you. Kubleshibon Mitela. Shibon